Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys probably the biggest luxury beauty haul I think I've ever done. This does span outside of Sephora. We do have some Nordstrom products and some other products from other retailers as well. So I cannot wait to dive right into this, but if you guys are new, my name is Jenna. It is so nice to meet you, and thanks for clicking on this video today. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get on to my crazy luxury beauty haul. First of all, let's start super strong in this haul. This is a very trending product right now. This is the Dior Backstage New Primer, and they did kind of tease this a little bit on Sephora, but this is what the bottle looks like. It's identical to the Backstage Foundation, and this is supposedly best for all skin tones. It's supposed to blur really well and hydrate and just like provide such an amazing base. So I'm super excited to test this out for you guys. I will definitely let you know my thoughts because I know a lot of you guys are gonna want to know how this one works. Next, I got two new products from Fenty Beauty. The first one is the Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick. This is interesting because I think it's a lip scrub in like a balm form, which is kind of cool. This is what it looks like on the inside here, and the only lip scrubs I've ever used were actually in a tub. So it's kind of neat to try something new. It does smell kind of minty, kind of spicy at the same time. So a little bit like Vaseline. <laughs> actually. But anyways, it's not an unpleasant smell. I'm super excited to test this one out as well and let you guys know because if this works out really well, I think it'd be really handy to do a quick lip scrub while it's in stick format so that you don't have to actually put your finger into a tub and then have to wash your hands after. The next product is the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm and this is one I was super excited to try out as well. This is in the shade Hint Hint. There is only one shade right now and this comes in a super cute little like squeezer kind of tube, but it also has the cap of a lipstick, which is kind of neat. Oh wait, it actually has a wand, Never mind. This is really interesting. This actually smells really similar to the scrub stick, but not as strong. It's a little bit more muted. Next, let's get into some Tom Ford. I do have a couple things to mention that I did haul the last little while, and I'm a bit disappointed that I did, but I will let you know why. The first one is the Emotion Proof Concealer. This is one that I actually heard from a couple of my friends that this formula is not even like a Tom Ford formula. Apparently it's a Smashbox formula or very similar to that. And so for the luxury Tom Ford price tag, people haven't found that it's actually been worth purchasing. So I will let you guys know my thoughts. The shade I picked up is in number three, Pale Dune, which I totally guessed online. It was really hard to figure out my shade. I think now it's available at Sephora, but when I purchased it, it was on Tom Ford's website. Basically, I'm stuck with it either way because I think they have a return policy, but it's a pretty tight window. This is what it looks like here. And I do feel like just off the top, the formula is actually pretty runny. It's not super thick. So that'll be really interesting to test out, but I will let you know my thoughts. The same thing goes for this product. This is also a Tom Ford product and this is the Emotion Proof Eye Color. So this is something that I was actually really excited to purchase and I actually purchased two of them by accident. So I put one in a giveaway so I could just help out one of you guys and just, you know, bless you guys with one because <laughs> I ordered two and I was like, oh, I guess I can't use two of them. This is a super pretty little tub, but I actually heard from Michelle Wong here on YouTube that she actually thought that this was very similar to the MAC paint pots and so similar that I believe the ingredient list was super close and she thought that it was actually just repackaged to a Tom Ford packaging, which is kind of sneaky because you're getting that Tom Ford price tag now for the exact same product. So that's a little bit shady in my opinion, but I will let you guys know what I think. I do have paint pots in my collection and now I will try this one as well along with everything else. Next, I wanna share a new foundation that I picked up. This is one that so many of you guys recommended to me and I just basically said, all right, fine, I'll try it. <laughs> you guys know I love a glowy foundation and this is the new one from Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Lumiere Foundation. The shade I picked up is number 2N1 Cashew. And this is one, you guys, that so many people have raved about. This is the gorgeous packaging. It's very weighty. It's definitely luxurious. And that's what I like because for these types of brands, you want the packaging to match. It's just a, I feel like it's a standard that they should absolutely meet considering these price tags that, you know, cheap packaging is just a no-go for this. <laughs> but anyways, apparently a gorgeous glowy foundation. Can't wait to try it. And I'll definitely keep you posted on it. 
Next, I picked up a super random purchase. Actually, I was watching um, Samantha Ravendahl's video. She talked about things that she uses off camera all the time. These are the most luxurious hair scrunchies I think I have ever purchased. I don't know if they'll work out. I hope they will because they're just that extra, you know, a little extra for your hair care routine. This is from Slip and these are these silk scrunchies. She actually swore by these actually. When I saw the price tag, I just about died. <laughs> but apparently they're good for hair breakage. They're supposed to keep your hair from having that crease effect when you do put your hair in a pony. I think I've shared in the past, I have tried a few of the Slip products. I've tried their pillowcases, which I do think are worth it. They are amazing. Then I tried their hair band, which you just put your hair back in and when you're doing your skincare and stuff. And to be honest, that was just okay. I mean, it's cute, but I don't think it's worth the price tag. And you can certainly find them at places like Marshall's or TJ Maxx for way, way less of a price. So I'll keep you posted on these. I'll let you know if I think they're worth it. I mean, if these change the scrunchie game, I do think that they would potentially be worth their price, but I'll let you know. Next, I ordered three new things from Patchology, and this is actually my first time trying the brand. I was actually watching my friend Makeup Molly's Instagram. She did talk about these. All of these masks that I picked up are, I think they're just the eye patches. They're all called Mood Patch. The first one is Downtime. This one is Calming Tea Infused Aromatherapy Eye Gels, but this is so cute. I ordered all three of the aromatherapy like styles. This next one is Rose and Hibiscus. This one looks super cool. It's called Happy Place. And then the last one is called Perk Up. This one has green tea, bergamot, and white mulberry, which is really cool. So I'm super excited. I haven't tried any of their face masks at all. This will be the first time trying the brand and I'm really happy about it. I think this will be really, really nice. All right, let's keep moving along. The next thing that I purchased is actually a couple things that were on Kourtney Kardashian's favorites. So she did do a video with Vogue showing her skincare routine and I was totally a sucker to purchasing a whole bunch of stuff that she recommended. The first one is actually this foundation. This is one that she used. I have never heard of it before until that video. This is the Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation. It's supposed to be a breathable formula for healthier skin that provides complete coverage. I'm hoping that this formula is true to what it says in that it's breathable and it just provides extra skincare benefits as well. So this is what this one is. Again, I had to guess my shade out of the woodwork basically. There were like six or seven shades. It was really limited so that really wasn't cool. But I got this from the Derm store I think. So it's a totally different website, not familiar with it. I'm excited. I mean, this feels super light. It feels like there's basically nothing in it, if I'm honest, but <laughs> I'll definitely keep you posted on this because this is something I have never heard anything about. And if Courtney likes it, maybe I'll like it too. Speaking of things that Courtney Kardashian liked, I'm also gonna show you guys this little oil that I picked up. This is from Pay, I think, or Pi. This is the Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Oil. And this is actually the mini size of it. And it was also pretty pricey by itself. I think like 30 US. Uh, this better make my skin look like JLo <laughs> without drying because wow, for this little thing. Anyways, so I will let you know as well. This is the oil that she used in that video. So I will for sure be testing this out with everything else. She also used this sunscreen, which I also got from the Derm store. This is from Ulta MD. This has got to be like a dermatologist line or maybe like a professional line. I'm not sure. This is called the UV Replenish Broad Spectrum SPF 44 Moisturizing Physical Sunscreen. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, which is really nice for the skin. Sunscreen and clogging pores is the biggest thing. So I'll definitely let you know if I react to it, if I break out to it, because that's going to really suck, but I'll definitely keep you posted. Okay, I think this might be the last Kourtney Kardashian favorite in this haul and then I'll just leave it there. <laughs> this is from Root Science and this is the detox mask. So if you watched her Vogue video, she actually had this mask at first and she mixed it with honey to kind of start off her skincare routine. It was super cool. You're supposed to mix it with honey or water, I believe. And it has a whole bunch of really nice ingredients. So everything that Kourtney Kardashian recommended is supposedly clean skincare. So none of the nasty chemicals or ingredients in it, which is really nice. 
and this is supposed to be a clarifying mask. It says it's good for oily and blemish prone skin. I'm thinking about doing a video where I put all of these to the test at the same time and just see how my makeup looks, like if it looks as glowy as her skin. Let me know your thoughts on that video, but I think this is another one, of course, that is super cool, and the fact that it's clean skincare, I'm loving. Okay, now let's get into some of the bronzers I've been picking up because I definitely went bronzer heavy. The first one is from Dior here. I have been testing this out already, so I just wanted to include it in this haul. This is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze Wild Earth. The shade I picked up is number two. It still has the same like nude stamp inside the, the powder here that the highlights do, and I really love that. It's a really nice, beautiful like caramel shade. It's super gorgeous on the skin. I do think this is one that you can pick up quite a bit on your brush pretty quickly. So when I use my Marc Jacobs uh, bronzer brush with this, I do find I have to be incredibly light-handed or it just gets a lot of my brush at once. So I try to use more of a diffused hair brush just so that I can control it better. But this is a really nice color. The next bronzer is actually from Longcomb. This is the Le French Glow Bronzer. This is one, I believe it's limited edition, I'm not positive, but this is one that has some gorgeous nautical outside packaging. And when you open it up, this is what it has on the inside. So as you can see, I've definitely been using it. The stripes of color are more evident when you pick it up, obviously. And then when you swirl them all together, then you get your bronzer color and it starts to kind of get this all dirty, which is too bad, but I wouldn't use these stripes separately, so that's why I just like swirled them all together. And then each of these stripes has a French word in them. Another bronzer I found that can get a lot of pigment on the brush quickly, especially when using my Marc Jacobs brush. So that's another one that I use more of a diffused hair brush with to control it better. But I'll definitely let you know what I think of all of these bronzers once I'm done testing them. We actually do have two more bronzers in here, so let's get it going. The next one is from La Mer. This is the bronzing powder. I just got this one in, so I haven't been testing it yet. Here's the outer packaging of this one. It is so beautiful with that flower. It's very reflective as well. And then when you open it up, you have this gorgeous compact that matches. I'm gonna show you. Like how beautiful is this? This has a little bit of like a highlight, like a bit of a shimmery component to it. Then that first layer is a little bit darker and this one is lighter yet. So I'm probably gonna use it all swirled together as well, unless you guys think that's a bad idea, let me know down below. But I do think this is gorgeous. It's one of those ones where you don't wanna touch because as soon as you swirl it, that picture's not gonna look as nice. <laughs> so you either gotta put it on display or you gotta use it. So I'm thinking I'll use it, but I'm just, it's so, so pretty, I just love this design. The last bronzer that I picked up is actually from Guerlain, and this is the limited edition for 2019 Bronzer and Blush Powder Compact. This is called the Terracotta Root de Isle, I believe, and this is so pretty. First of all, the outer packaging, I mean, it's gorgeous, but inside, you guys are gonna lose it. It's so cute. I don't even wanna touch that, it's like a work of art. It's so, so pretty. It has like the blush in here with like a little bit of gold around it and then some bronzer powder. I don't know how I'm gonna use this yet. I think some people have been swirling them together. Some people have tried to keep the blush and the bronzer separate. I will let you know, but it definitely has that very standard terracotta smell from Guerlain. You can tell it smells like coconut sunscreen kind of. That's kind of the impression that I get, but it's so stinking beautiful. I love this. Like, how am I gonna use this really? <laughs> Okay, going back to Tom Ford, there's a couple things that I missed here from the Tom Ford portion of this haul. So this next one is the Tom Ford Soleil Glow Tone Up Foundation. This is a broad spectrum 45, but this is the compact, you guys. Dead. Love it. So pretty, so luxurious. The shade I picked up is number two, Pink Glow Tone Up. So this is obviously probably just like a topper to your foundation. All right, so this is the inside of this foundation. This is a cushion product, as you can see. Super, super pretty. It does have a little door to close it off. And then it does come with this little pad if you wanna use that as well. I probably won't, I'll probably just use my beauty blender or something and kind of keep this nice and white. But this is gorgeous. I'm excited to try this. I haven't seen any reviews on this yet. So let me know if you have, let me know down below your thoughts because this has been out for a little bit, but it really caught my interest. The next Tom Ford item is actually the foundation. This is the Flawless Glow Foundation. This is the Tom Ford Soleil line as well. The shade that I picked up is number four Fawn. I hope that's not gonna be too dark or too light. 
Uh, we'll see. I'm hoping this is just a frosted product and this isn't uh, something that's true to color. Uh, shoot. <laughs> this might be really light, guys. I put the fawn shade on my hand right here. It's right here. So maybe it's not going to be that bad. I'm hoping. I think that looks pretty dang close. So if that's true, good job, Jenna, but I'm hoping it's not too light. I'll definitely keep you posted. Lastly, I picked up two Tom Ford quads and I just got one from the VIB sale, which I was like, wow, Jenna, really? <laughs> but my birthday is coming up. I figured, you know what? I may as well. This first one is called number four suspicion. This is really, really pretty. You guys, this color right off the bat looks similar to the one in nude dip. I'm not positive, but it looks close. And this one looks close too. So when I give you guys my thoughts on these, I'll do some swatch comparisons as well. So I'm super excited about that. I think this will be a really gorgeous summer quad. This next quad is actually number five body heat. And this is also one that is so pretty, you guys. Again, I'm gonna dump those stupid brushes that come in all of these quads, but this is body heat right here. Again, sultry, gorgeous, right up my alley. So in love with this one. This one looks like the perfect date night summer quad. I don't know, I'm just really happy. <laughs> This one looks so beautiful. Next, I have some Chanel products in here. These first two are actually new lipsticks. These are the Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks. They have been out for some time though. They're not super new, but the two shades I picked up are number 84 Immediate and number 54 Boy. So I'm gonna swatch these on the back of my hand really quick and let you guys know what I think. They're definitely more on the sheer side. These are the two here and they're just like perfect wearable colors. We have immediate on the left and boy on the right. Boy is like a perfect nude for every day. I think it's like the perfect tone. And then the immediate color is like just a wash of a gorgeous pink. So nothing too overwhelming. I do think both of these are going to look gorgeous for summer looks. I'm super excited about them. The last Chanel product that I picked up is actually from the new Le Beige collection. This is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. This looks so pretty, you guys, because of the handwritten Chanel in the powder, like it's pressed right in. Almost looks a little bit old school with like the handwritten-ness of it, but it's so pretty and elegant, so I love that. This is the gorgeous powder, you guys. It has that beautiful handwritten Chanel in the powder. So, so lovely. This is a healthy glow powder. It's supposed to give you that luminosity while you set your makeup and things like that. This isn't a highlight product by any means. It's just like a healthy glow, right? So this I'm excited to try. And I think out of all the new beige collection, this was the only thing that really caught my attention. So that's why I purchased it. This is the last makeup item in this haul. Then we have two more items left. This is from Hourglass. This is the Unreal Lip Gloss. This is something that they recently came out with their new lip gloss line. And the shade that I picked up is called Truth. This is a gorgeous luxury package. Love it. I love the fact that it's so weighty. I love that it is just very elegant and very different. This gloss is supposed to be non-sticky, very pigmented, that whole thing. So I'll keep you posted because I have very few glosses that aren't sticky. So <laughs> I'll definitely keep you posted on that. This is the color truth here on my hand. And again, a really beautiful, perfect summer color. I feel like I definitely have a type. You guys can see like, you know, this is a very general theme with some stuff I have today. This one has a very interesting minty smell. It's like minty with like a hint of like eucalyptus kind of. So definitely very herby minty, which was kind of surprising since a lot of the glosses that I have are typically very sweet smelling. The second last item is actually skincare. And this is something that a lot of you guys recommended to me after my second Sephora haul was to pick this up. So I actually snagged this on the last day of the sale. So this is a cute little kit that Sephora has right now. When you open it up, you kind of see, you can, bleh, things are falling out. <laughs> Okay, either way, you slide it out like this and then all the products are kind of rested in here. So I'm gonna try not to flip it over completely, but as you can see, you have some very healthy sizes of the retinol cream. We do have a sample of the Proteini, which is what I already have or I've tried before and I do love it actually. These two are some I haven't tried before. We have the Day Serum and we have the Glycolic Night Serum. And then this one is the sunscreen with like the tint to it, which I also haven't tried. So 
This is a gorgeous kit for people that haven't tried Drunk Elephant. I believe it's still pricey. It's about 125, I think, US, something like that. So it's still significant for an investment, but I do think it's great to have the opportunity to try everything and to see what things you like and don't like so that you can actually like really feel good with purchasing full sizes of these things because you've tested them out and now you know that they work. Now the last item in this crazy luxury beauty haul is actually a fragrance. And this is something that I kind of contemplated picking up during the sale, but I also knew that Sephora typically does a bit of a promo after the VIB sale closer to Mother's Day where they usually do like double the points or triple the points when it comes to fragrance. This year they did five times the dollar amount in points, which is really cool. So I decided to get it after the sale. This is actually from the Clean Reserve line and this is called Solar Bloom. This is their newest summer fragrance. I am in love with the Aqua Neroli uh, fragrance from Clean. It's so nice and it's also clean, so it's great for you. Very similar to the rest of their products, but this is so beautiful, you guys. I love it, it's weighty, it's expensive feeling. And like I said, I don't know if it's just me, but when you're going for that luxury price tag, you want everything to be beautifully packaged and feel like it's worth what you paid. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but anyways, it's so good, you guys. Definitely summery, like warmer, but it is that floral citrus that I love. So if you guys are unfamiliar with my personal taste, that is, these are the types of fragrances I go for, like a fruity or a floral citrus, like that kind of thing is really just my personal kind of scent tastes. I did go in store and smell this in person before I made the big commitment because these clean products are expensive, but I do think they're worth their money because they are very well crafted and, you know, with really good ingredients that you just don't have to worry about getting reactions to or feeling crappy that you're spraying on your skin. All right, guys, that is it for my massive luxury beauty haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will absolutely be following up with all of these reviews in future videos, doing hits and misses videos. I'm currently working on my hits and misses from my Sephora hauls as well. So definitely stay tuned for my updates with all of those products. And until my next one, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great But sorry, there's a light inside of us It shows the way